Oh, this looks wonderfully spooky. Welcome again, third time today. I don't think I'm gonna do this in the future, like three times live is a little much. Uh, but welcome. Uh, this is the... Um, this is what the whole event has been about. Um, writing down those limiting beliefs, figuring out where they came from, and then um, writing down new ones that are more in line with who you are and, and are actually beliefs you want to believe in, and then burn the old ones down. So for, before we start, um, what I have here is um, I want to do this outside, uh, but it's actually sort of rainy and I heard that my neighbors were sitting outside and I didn't really want them to join the party. Um, so I thought, let's just stay inside. So what I did, I'm going to burn some, some paper. So what I did, uh, my office is in the attic, so I uh, opened the window. So I'm a little... It's, it's a, it was already cold. Uh, I don't have a radiator here yet, a heater. Um, so yeah, but I, I opened the windows uh, for the smell because otherwise uh, it won't be really good for me and also not uh, for, like it will stay in the house for uh, for a little while. So do this safe. If you do this inside, make sure to crack a window um, or two. And also, uh, when you start burning your your notes, make sure that you have something you can burn them in. So I it's not very sexy, but I got a brownie pan. Um, but she did a trick. I never use this. I usually, when I burn one note, I use a shell. Uh, but now I have, um, oh, I have quite a few. So I thought, let's just, you know, have a big thing. I could just drop them in once I, uh, once I, uh, set them on fire. I'm looking forward to this. Um, so of course, um, so for me, it's not temp. 10 uh, p.m. You can do this whenever you want. I like to do this at nightfall because it feels a little extra spooky, um, a little closer um, to this moment when the veil between the worlds is thin. Um, but yeah, do this whenever it works for you. Um, and, and as I said, do this safely. Uh, you can do a whole ritual. I have some music in the background. Uh, I have some candles. So you can do a whole ritual. Uh, but whatever you do, it safely. So what I want to do now is I want to go through my limiting beliefs. And, and, and if you want to share those of yours, please do. Uh, don't feel that you have to because they can be very personal. Uh, and I want to... Um, I already put a list up on, on Facebook, which is the more fine-tuned list of what I, I ended up with. Um, but I have my journal here, so I'll... I'll, I'll try to walk you through how I got like I'll walk you through my beliefs my old beliefs that I'm gonna burn out and um, what I came up with as a as a new belief something I want to believe and it's more like it, it's, it kind of feels like um, new affirmations so first one that I'm gonna burn down I really hope this pen is gonna work and not that I well, I have a cup of tea here so that will you know if if, if I do set myself on fire. I can hopefully uh, put it up with that. Okay, so be safe here as well. Like I have a scarf on uh, because it's cold. Probably not the wisest. I just keep it tucked. Um, really be safe. Um, be careful. Um, so one of the beliefs that I uh, so I wrote down beliefs as the month went, uh, and 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 the one where I gave you some homework as well. Um, so you could really start to dig. Uh, and some of these came from the homework, I, I did the homework as well, and some just popped up as I was, you know, doing something, walking somewhere, uh, thinking of the event. So, this is what I have, it's no one wants to hear, I don't know if you can read that, probably not, it's too dark. Uh, no one wants to hear what I have to say. Um, and that is, and that is absolutely, um, I think, one that a lot of you uh, will share with me. So what I, how I, uh, and as I said so in the in the um, in the homework, the third step, I really try to push you. Uh, and this, of course, comes from the like I, I got the um, I got the exercise. I adapted an exercise from a book, and I mentioned the book in the. Um, I feel like my candle is burning low here. Uh oh, it's gonna be even more dark. Um, can't even read my notes anymore um so like don't just like switch it around so then i would say um if it's no one wants to hear what i have to say i could just say well people want to hear what i have to say and and the the advice is to really push it like really turn it into, into something empowering um so what i uh got as my new belief is now I'll, I'll just find a new candle um 
I have the right to let my voice be heard. So that is um, that is my new belief in, in you know to replace this one. So this one, this one is a goner. There we go. Out with the old and in with the new. And let me just take this time to replace this candle. No, 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 come on, you need to burn all the way through. You can do this. And the smell is interesting. And of course, it's not wafting towards my windows. Come on. Oh, it's not completely done. Okay. That's good. Because we want to burn this whole thing down, of course. No, it just says no one wants. So be careful here, please. Yes. I'll burn the remains later to make sure it's completely gone. Okay, so next one I have. Um, I'm not going to be the next Hemingway or J.K. Rowling, so why bother? And I replace that with, um, for every book there's an audience. And that is true, I mean, there are people who don't like reading Hemingway or J.K. Rowling. Um, and besides, of course, um, who says you can't? That would that would be like saying um, I don't know, like you can't do a sport for fun just because you're never gonna make it to the Olympics. It's getting really hot. So there it goes. Every book has its audience, so I can write. I don't have to be the next J.K. Rowling or the next Hemingway. And who knows? Maybe I am. Okay, so third one, being creative is an indulgent. It doesn't pay the bills. This is a really big one for me, that creativity is a hobby and hobbies aren't useful because you know there are bills to be paid, you have responsibilities. So I replace this with, and I actually have, um, I actually have two that I just replace with the same, um, the same new belief. So this one I replace with, with um, Oh yeah, I replaced it with this one. So instead of uh, thinking of it as an indulgence, I, my new belief is creativity feeds my soul and um, it should be a priority in my life. Something like that. I think it's a little different on Facebook. There we go. So even if it doesn't pay the bills, it feeds me as a person. Ah. I have to get rid of the remainder. Make sure to burn all of this. Come on. Yeah, it's just burning nice. Excellent. Okay, so if I'm not writing, I'm not being creative, which is also a thing for me. Um, oh, hi, Sandra. Hi, blessed be. I hope you're burning yours. One. Are you going to film yours? Are you gonna be live on Facebook and share it with us? Let's see if she answers. Um, yes, yeah, so for this one I had. Uh, so this is um, I, sometimes I get to, like I can be really angry with myself, very negative if I'm if I'm not writing, um, because then I'm like you know I'm not being creative, I'm not doing the work. Um, so I sometimes use it. Um, sometimes use it in a very negative way, like bash myself. Uh, so this is oh she says yes good good uh, let me know what time and I'll, I'll be there um, so this is a big one for me and I replaced it I replaced it with creativity is in everything I do I live a fully creative life and I think that's true like I do so many things I do so many projects um, and even my job like being an editor well this one wants to burn <laughs> even an editor I mean it's such a creative uh, enterprise so I am just always very creative. There you go. I live a fully creative life, I'll have you know that. Good. So that one's gone. Oh, that burns up really nicely. Good. Smolder away. You can only be creative when everything else is done. Another one for me, and, and actually, so I replaced that with the same um, new belief that I just told you about. Um, so. 
creativity feeds my soul when I need to make it a priority in my life. Um, and this is something that's really a thing for me. Like I have a never ending to-do list. Uh, and I'm sure those who follow me and who know me know that I do all the things at this, like I juggle a lot of things. And that, that also keeps, that also like keeps me going, feeds my soul. But uh, writing uh, tends to um, become less of a priority. Uh, but I need to prioritize it because it feeds my soul. Um, so I don't have to get to the end of my to-do list because my to-do list is never done. Okay. Oh, this is one. Yeah, so I had I wrote down, which is a thought, like somewhere, like I think two weeks ago or so, this thought kept popping up in my head. Uh, what makes you an expert on that? And I think a lot of people will recognize that as well. Like when you write, um, when you talk about, you know, becoming visible, uh, sharing your story, who says you're the person that has to write that story? So I actually, um, like... I think I posted that on, on Facebook in the group, like turning into a belief, like I can only, I can only talk about this, you know, once I'm an official expert on it. So like when you have the degree or whatever. Um, so I turned it into something like I can share my knowledge and uh, experiences freely and in whichever way I like. Your experiences are your own. Um, so you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. I can... I can swear it's Sawin. It's a pagan festival. Okay, you need to burn a little better. Come on. Ah, oh, there she goes. Good. Okay, so last one for me. Uh, time spent writing. It's time I could have spent making money or taking care of my loved ones. This is another one, big one for me. Um, and I'm sure uh, this resonates with a lot of you. Um, and it's all about, it's again, it's a, a being able to prioritize what you need to do, like what you need to do to feed your soul. Um, um, yeah, this is just, this needs to go, this needs to be removed from all of our lives. So I replaced it with, um, writing fills my cup and having my cup filled makes me better at everything I have to do. So everything I do and everything I have to do. Um, so it's absolutely vital that I first fill my cup and, and writing and being creative, that is what fills my cup. So again, I should not wait until my to-do list is done, until the people I care about uh, have what they need. Uh, I'm important too. It's a lot about self-love, of course, um, and a lot of people need to work on that with me. There she goes. Some of them burn up so nicely, like, yeah, this I'm done with that one. Okay, so these are mine. Oh, that feels really good. Um, these are mine. Uh, let me know how this goes for you. If you want to share, I'm just gonna, I need to burn one up. This one. You need to go completely. Come on. I don't want I don't want you to stick around. There she goes. Burn, baby, burn. So let me know how this went for you. Um, and the um, beliefs that you got rid of, but uh, most importantly, the beliefs that you replaced them with. So what are the beliefs you're gonna keep telling yourself from now on, now that you've um, got rid of these? I wish you all a blessed Salvin. Um, and thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun and it was good to see um, how deep some people went and how useful this was for them um, because I mean that's why I do this uh, to help other people um, embrace their creative spirits whatever um, to keep them from those writing blocks to keep people creating because I think like we need people we need we need the arts especially in these times we need the arts we need to be creative and we need to listen to our soul when it's calling for us to create so thank you for joining me um, I had a blast um, and let me know. Let me know what you came up with. Let me know what you did today. Whether you did any kind of ritual or whatever. Just let me know. I'm really, I'm really curious. Okay. Love to you. Um, and, and talk to you soon.